Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? All right, keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. The gate's unlocked. You can head inside Take when you're my ready. Advice. Don't listen to that talk of the face scum. I had another run in with a thief's guild. I don't know you. Careful, you and Riften looking for trouble? Maven Blackbriar at her back. Yeah? Well, I got I news for you. There's nothing to see here. Jail. Last thing the Blackbriars need is some Maybe stranger sticking their in nose in where it doesn't belong. I know. The Blackbriars have Riften in their pocket and the Thieves' Guild watching their back. So keep your nose out of their business. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. But it'll cost you. Only way you could have found one of those is by stealing it. Guess you'll fit in around here better than I thought. So what do you want to know? Do I look like a merchant to you? You're gonna have to take that up with Vex in the Thieves' Guild. Get in good with them and you'll find her. The only thing I heard is a rumor that a boy named Aventus Aretino in Windhelm has been attempting to contact the Dark Brotherhood. He used to live here in Riften at the orphanage on the other side of town, but I think he ran away. Can't say I blame him. Well, you got Maven. She pretty much runs the whole operation. She's got friends in high places, if you know what I mean. She's also got ties to the Dark Brotherhood and the Thieves' Guild, so basically no one can touch her. Just remember, if she tells you to do something, you damn well better do exactly what she says. You kidding? My brother Dirge works in their hideout. I used to run with them myself, but took a job with Maven after they started hitting a rough patch. If you want to get in on that action, find Brynjolf in the marketplace. I'm sure he could use someone like you. Be seeing you around. Fresh meats and produce. Get them before they're gone. Never done an honest day. Ah, oh, expecting free information, eh? Help me deal with business first. Then we'll see how I can help you. Besides, you look like your pockets are a little light on coin. Am I right? Passing on a golden opportunity is worse. I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strongbox under a stamp. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. All meats guaranteed, clean and free from Good. Wait until I start the distraction, then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone gather round. Patience, Branch. What are you doing that for? It's a rare opportunity, and I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you... ...said about the Wisp Essence, and it turned out to be crushed... ...her root mixed with water. Oh, come on. Are you talking about the Snow Elves? The one and only. Mystical beings who live in legends, and were masters of great magic. Imagine the... ...power that coursed through their veins. How did you get that, then? No one's seen them in years. My sources must remain a secret for their own protection, but I can promise you that the contents are genuine. Well, 
I see that my time is up. Come back tomorrow if you wish to buy. What a waste You're of time. You're a stranger here too, huh? Damn. I knew I should. No offense, but you're not looking so good. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here, it's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Nah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. All right, then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Rifton, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. Buying and selling fine jewelry here. What in blazes are you talking about? Beautiful baubles and gleaming gemstones over here. I never saw this ring before in my entire life. Is someone there? I don't know, Trough. They'd skin us alive if they knew we were doing this. Should have come here. If you're looking for conversation, I'm telling you, this you better have different. coin to pay for your drinks. Huh. Lot of old guys around. I don't really know how I can help. That's a touching story. Now get out of my face! I don't know you, so we've got nothing to talk about. How about you finish the job Brynjolf gave you? Then we can talk. Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. 
reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Kirava, Bursi Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Now get going. I'll be here when you're done. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. Are you feeling sick? Here for a room or something to drink? Show me some coin first. I've already told that buffoon that I'm not paying you people a single coin. Look around you. I'm barely keeping this rat hole together. The war seemed to that. Come on, give it your best shot. You're just gonna stand there and take it? Come Fight here. back! Someone do something! Somebody <laughs> says or do something! <laughs> Try and make this quick! So can I... What? Oh, it's one of you people. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? Petty threats and fist-waving are not going to sway me. You people are all talk. And everyone knows it. You demand payment for protection. And you can't even protect yourselves! Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. I'm going to make you sorry for this. Come on! Fight Get him! Smear, you won't leave here alive! Come on, he's not so tough. <laughs> fight! Fight! fight. Oh, flee! Come on, he's not so tough. This ends now! Drive that snow back to the ground. Please, Come no on. more. I'll pay. I'll pay. Uh, here. My husband, Bercy, will be the death of me. Welcome to Riften, home of the Thief's Guild. For so they'd have you believe. It's all lies. It's, the... it's you. Please, don't hurt me. I know who you are. You've been terrorizing the entire city. Please, there's no need for that here. Message understood. Here, I even have the payment. Working at the Riften Fishery is tough, but it puts some coin in my pocket. As 
but cannot elude us, fool. I'll kill you if I have to. Do your worst. So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. If you're I looking like for that. conversation, Dumping the flagon isn't the place. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. <laughs> Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. What's on your mind? We've run into a rough patch lately. But it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what. You keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about. I think you better listen to Mercer and Brynjol first. We could talk later. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. You do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work, so let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Grignol will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Mm hmm? Yes. Since Grignol assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, 
And talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Hi. The last thing we want to be doing is crossing our clients. Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive, but if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. You watch yourself on that. All eyes. Yeah, I bet I know your guy. He's hiding out in the Ratway Warrens. Paying us good coin for nobody to know about it. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. There's no escape. <laughs> Thank you. 
Someone there? Over here! <laughs> Someone there. Now you're mine. <laughs> Close. <laughs>
There's someone there. Time to die. Finish this! Watch what you do. Worthless mirth. There is. I didn't think Maven or Mercer would allow me to get away with this, but I had little choice. I can't. If I do, I may as well cut my own throat. I don't believe you. That's not your way. Give it your best shot. What was that?
Got a minute? Wanted to say something. Word on the street is Golden Glow's been hit. Good job, lad. Let me take a look at what you found. Arengarth sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Don't sound so eager. It's not a social visit. It's business. That's between you and Maven, and I'd prefer to keep it that way. Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually involve quite a bit of gold for her people. <laughs> of course, your pay. <laughs> You're smart as a whiplot. Keep doing right by us, and there's plenty more where that came from. Until next we meet live. Go away! What? No, that's not me. I'm not Esbin. I don't know what you're talking about. Delphine? How do you... So you finally found her. And she led you to me. And here I am, caught like a rat in a trap. Ah, indeed. Indeed. Uh, I do remember. Delphine really is alive, then. You'd better come in, then, and tell me how you found me, and what you want. Th this'll just take a moment. This Guess one it's always takes a There we go. Only a couple more. There we are. Come in, come in. No. Make yourself at home. That's better. Now we can talk. So, Delphine keeps up the fight after all these years. I thought she'd have realized it's hopeless by now. I tried to tell her years ago. Haven't you figured it out yet? What more needs to happen before you all wake up and see what's going on? Alduin has returned, just like the prophecy said. The dragon from the dawn of time, who devours the souls of the dead. No one can escape his hunger, here or in the afterlife. Alduin will devour all things, and the world will end. Nothing can stop him. I tried to tell them. They wouldn't listen. Fools. It's all come true. All I could do was watch our doom approach. Yes, yes. You see, you know, but you refuse to understand. Oh, yes. It's all been foretold. The end has begun. Aldrin has returned. Only a dragonborn can stop him. But no dragonborn has been known for centuries. It seems that the gods have grown tired of us. They've left us to our fate as the plaything of Aldwin the World Eater. What? You are? Can it really be true? Dragonborn? Then... Then there is hope. The gods have not abandoned us. We must... We must... We must go. Quickly now. Take me to Delphine. We have much to discuss. Just a moment. I must gather a few things. I'll need the... No. No. You look... Yes? What do you need, Dragonborn? Mm. 
Delphine. <laughs> Why, it's good to see you. It's been a long time. It's good to see you too, Esbern. It's been too long, old friend. Too long. Well, then. You made it safe and sound. Good. Come on, I have a place we can talk. Orgnar, hold down the bar for a minute, will you? Yeah, sure. This way. Now then, I assume you know about... Oh yes, Dragon Ball, indeed, yes. Oh, this changes everything, of course. There's no time to lose, so we must locate. Let me show you. I know I had it here somewhere. Esbern, what? Give me just a moment. Oh. Ah, here it is. Come, let me show you. You see, right here, Skyhaven Temple. Constructed around one of the main Akaviri military camps in the Reach during their conquest of Skyrim. Do you know what he's talking about? Shh! This is where they built Aldrin's Hall to set down and stone all their accumulated dragon lore. A hedge against the forgetfulness of centuries. A wise and foresighted policy in the event. Despite the far reaching fame of Aldrin's Wall at the time, one of the wonders of the ancient world. Its location was lost. Esbern, what are you getting at? You mean, you don't mean to say you haven't heard of Alduin's Wall? Either of you? Let's pretend we haven't. What's Alduin's Wall and what does it have to do with stopping the dragons? Alduin's Wall was where the ancient blades recorded all they knew of Alduin and his return. Part history, part prophecy. His location has been lost for centuries, but I have found it again. Not lost, you see, just forgotten. The Blade's archives held so many secrets. I was only able to save a few scraps. So you think that Alduin's wall will tell us how to defeat Alduin? Well, yes, but there's no guarantee, of course. Skyhaven Temple it is, then. I knew you'd have something for us, Esbern. I know the area of the reach that Esbern's talking about, near what's now known as Karth Spire in the Karth River Canyon. We can meet you there or all travel together. Your call. Always, let's go see if we can find this Sky Haven Temple. 